Not quite sure how much rain we had overnight and into the morning hours, but we did have some rain. Yeah. But then right around, I'm going to say around uh, 1.30 or so, the skies, the skies started to clear in downtown Pittsburgh, at least. Turned out to be a nice afternoon. Okay. I haven't looked outside in a couple hours. So as my mom would say, what's doing? What's doing? Well, there are some breaks in those clouds, which is a nice change of pace. But they started breaking up as soon as I got to work, which was kind of unfair, if you ask me. <laughs> right. But uh, for the most part, we are going to be seeing those skies continue to clear out over the next uh, several hours and actually we get a lot of sunshine tomorrow. There's just basically two showers left hanging on and you can see one right north of Butler, one coming out of Beaver towards southern Butler County. So it's just these two little guys left over here that need to work through and then we're done with the rain. We have some clouds to finish up with though, but uh, the rain coming to an end and that's the first piece of good news I have. Temperatures right now not too bad, not too far off from where they should be for this time of year. We have the 59 degrees in Pittsburgh, 58 Connellsville, closer to 60 as you get to Morgantown. But overall, temperatures generally in the mid to upper 50s. A couple spots like Oakland and Dubois in those lower 50s is a little chillier there. You can see the breaks in the clouds, but we still have some clouds hanging on. The sun's setting, and overall, we have this uh, cooler setup that's about to take place. So we have 59 degrees right now after a high of 63. Three. So our temperatures not too far off the mark for where they should be for this time of year. A couple degrees above average for a high today. And for our low, we were well above average. So we've been warmer than average through much of the last 24 hours. However, our temperatures are going to get a little chillier into the overnight. We had this cold front come through and it's taking the moisture along with it. We still have these clouds back in Ohio and Indiana that are going to try to cycle through here. They're not going to do too much for uh, obstructing the, the sunshine for tomorrow, but tonight into early tomorrow, we'll have just a couple leftover clouds before we get right back into the sunshine. So you can see how Futurecast works here. Mainly uh, clear skies as we get into the overnight hours for a bit, and then those clouds cycle back through. So early tomorrow morning, partly cloudy. Once we get into uh, mid-morning and pretty much through the rest of the day, it's sunshine all around, and we'll keep it clear into Thursday late. That's out ahead of some showers that come into play for Friday. So Friday is our next chance for rain tomorrow. Mid to upper 50s around Allegheny County. It's going to be a gusty day with that sunshine. Wind gusts could get near 30 miles per hour at times. That'll be the case down south too. Temperatures mid to upper 50s here. You're looking closer to 60 degrees by the time you cross over into West Virginia, but plenty of sunshine out this way. As you go up into the ridges, it's going to be a little cooler. You're talking mid 50s there. Same deal up towards Catania, but mid to upper 50s for Indiana and Greensburg. Then north of Pittsburgh, these temperatures generally between 56, 58 degrees, mostly sunny skies and still gusty up this way too. 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts at times. And once the sun sets tomorrow night, those winds should simmer down a little bit. Back to the 60s on Thursday, you'll notice the temperatures increasing and the clouds increasing later in the day. Those clouds come into play ahead of Friday's rain showers. Those arrive in the afternoon and could last into the early morning hours of Saturday. Otherwise, a partly cloudy start to the weekend with temperatures there in the mid 50s back to 60 on Sunday and then the temperatures get to the chilliest point of the entire forecast and that looks to be Monday of next week. You're looking at 46 degrees with mostly cloudy skies and even some rain showers tossed into the mix. And remember, you can track the showers, you can track the sunshine, you can even track the temperature anytime you want with the KDK weather app. It's available for free in the App Store and Google Play by searching CBS Pittsburgh.